New York City, the Big Apple, Gotham. Whatever the name, this place needs no introduction. And our journey begins from the top of the rock at the Rockefeller Center. Take it all in. Built in the midst of the Great Depression, the Rockefeller Center represents the ambition and grandeur that has come to define New York City. It's a city within a city, open public spaces, that famous ice skating rink with the gold statue, NBC Studios, and Radio City Music Hall. Grand Central Terminal still stands as one of New York City's most cherished landmarks. Maybe because its history is also a glorious story of creation, decline, and rebirth. Much like the story of New York City itself. With over 750,000 people passing through each day, Grand Central is one of the busiest train stations in the world. New York City's skyline is constantly evolving, rising higher, but it just wouldn't be the same without the OGs like the Chrysler Building, an architectural manifestation of the Art Deco era and the automobile age. It was at one point the tallest building in the world until the Empire State Building squashed those dreams. You see, in the late 20s, as New York started booming, there was a race to build the largest skyscrapers and the Empire State Building took home that title at 1,250 feet tall. The latest addition to the skyline is the Freedom Tower, and it overlooks the World Trade Center Memorial. And it's a somber and reflective place to honor the victims of 9-11. Next to the Ground Zero Memorial is the Oculus Transit Hub. The building is a work of art. Designed by Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava, it resembles a dove taking flight. And at a price tag of $4 billion, the Oculus is the most expensive train station in the world. Forty million people a year come to Central Park to just escape the chaos of the city. And as summer turns to fall, the trees light up with colors and paints a vibrant picture of a much needed balance between city and nature. And the park is open all season and for everyone, a literal melting pot of people of all races coming together. Another melting pot of the world is Washington Square Park in Greenwich Village, a great place to chill, relax, and do some serious people watching. Get your culture on at the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, one of the world's largest museum with priceless art spanning over 5,000 years of cultures and time periods. The Charging Bull symbolizes Wall Street and the turmoil and uncertainty of the financial markets. It's headquarters to a lot of the major banks and stock companies. Wall Street's the financial capital of America, where the ups and downs of the stocks are played out in real time. Times Square, the crossroads of the world. Lights, advertising, Broadway shows, and people. Lots and lots of people. When the first immigrants came to the United States, the Statue of Liberty greeted them with her lamp held high, a guiding light to that dream of a new life in America. The iconic Brooklyn Bridge is the gateway to the borough of Brooklyn, and was the world's first steel wire suspension bridge. Since 1883, Millions of people have walked across and under its cathedral-style arcs. From incredible museums and art galleries to some of the world's best restaurants and shopping, New York City can be a dizzying and exhilarating place to visit. It's why you should check out ilovenewyork.com and plan your next trip.